why Zoom to Thailand is the most dangerous channel in the black manosphere. So if you're in the black YouTube space, there's no doubt that you know who Austin Holloman and Richie Mag Zoom to Thailand are. And they deserve every single bit of the credit they're getting because they're doing excellent work. So I would liken both of them as trendsetters, if you will. And I would liken Austin Holloman cl closer to like Lewis and Clark. He's a young black brother. He's in his early 20s and he says, you know what? I don't know what's out there, but I'm going to take the leak and I'm just going to jump and go. But Richie Mack zoomed to Thailand. He is a totally different issue. And I think that he is important on a totally different level. I would also allude to the fact that I think that it it is not without notice that of all the podcasts, Courtney Michelle cried on his podcast. And I think there's a very good reason why. To start this conversation, we have to look at history from the early 1900s, right before the great world wars and before, before the great depression, there was increased immigration. And one of the great immigrations that happened was many Japanese people moved to Brazil. Now that would be a move that many people wouldn't foresee, but there was a time when Japan was going through great strife financially and many Japanese people uprooted and moved halfway across the world to Brazil. And just like this kind of migration, there have been tons of migrations around the world, but there's been one group of people that have never really migrated. And that's been African-American people. We were brought to America and assimilated to America, but we were never really of America. We, we, we were participating in America, but we were never, it was never ours. And so now there's kind of this reclamation project like incorporate, but people that know America, we know that we, we are part of, we exist in America, but it's not really ours. And so when you see immigration like this kind of immigration, it speaks to people looking for hope. And that brings us back to Richie Mack and why for these three reasons, he is the most dangerous or translated the most important person currently in the black manosphere. So that brings me back to my three reasons why I think Zoom to Thailand is the most I wouldn't say dangerous, that's gamesmanship for YouTube, the most important channel on YouTube, or at least in the black YouTube sector. The first reason is simple. His channel offers a lot of hope. I, if you're a guy, you're grinding in America and every woman that's looking at you saying you're a, you're a, I don't know, you're a, a scrub, you're a dusty, and you're making 40,000, you're 45,000, you go, go to work, go home, and nobody's giving you any attention. And then you come on and you turn on this channel and look, you, even if you look at, you don't even have to look at the channel, look at the comments. There's so much hope. You see guys that are like, I'm just gonna work my butt off so I can get there. And it's inspiring, it's inspiring. I wanna, I wanna shout out his channel just for, just it gives guys so much positive energy and Kudos, to, kudos to, to Richie Mack for that, man. Kudos to you for that, man. But second reason is, it looks from looking at his videos, there's a network brewing in, I, I would say certainly Pattaya. There's the video with the, the group of black bar owners, and you can see that, that there's a, you know, there's a network building there, maybe even in Bangkok. I'm not sure I'm not there, but with network comes people who can tell you, you know, good advice, people that can advise you. Oh, you're, you're a young guy. You're looking for a trade here. Are you looking for something you can do here? Look into this. This industry is growing. And if you have a growing community of black male expats there, what you're going to start seeing is information sharing. People are going to, even he offers, uh, he offers a one-on-one -on -one consultations. I mean, however you might feel about consultations, 
if I were a young 23 year old guy and I didn't have any debt and and I'm thinking about what I'm going to do in my life, I would take I would scrap together some money and call him and say, what trades, what sector should I get into? How much money should I save? What am I looking at? And just get into that Rolodex and get into that that network, which leads me into the third point, which I think is the most important point. And I think this is the reason why we saw Courtney, Courtney Michelle upset crying is because she knows she knows on his particular his stream in particular she knows that something big is brewing and i think that i think that the zoom to thailand i think richie mack has found a place that's ripe for immigration just like we saw with the japanese people you would never think going to brazil that there would be a large enclave of japanese people there but there are right and Black people, we've never really immigrated anywhere. We 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 were brought to America, however, you know, yeah, that works with our history. And we've never really thought about going anywhere besides America. And now you're seeing this first wave of guys saying, you know what? What's out there? And when you watch Zuna Thailand videos and you see the kind of engagement underneath those videos, you can tell that something is brewing in Thailand. Something is brewing down there that might indeed be the first place we see a large group of black men immigrating to and starting a new black enclave away from america now i can't do thailand because it's too doggone hot it's too hot for me but for guys that don't mind the heat i think that that's something that's coming and when you see the courtney michelle's upset she's smart she understands there's no competition for that. And so I, I want to end this video by saying if Zoom to Thailand, I don't know if he's going to watch it or not, but I applaud what you're doing. Keep doing work. And I, I see you've done a lot of Hollywood work. You see, has some great videos. <laughs> but if you have some time, you want to look him up. But I hats off to you, man. Best of best of wishes to you. You guys go see him. Get some consultations because I mean, I can't advise you to come to Japan. You, you, Nihongo was so good, but it's not easy. It's not easy. It's not But Thailand is probably a, a, a much smaller learning curve you can get there. So, that I want to say thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, uh, hit the subscribe bell, and kudos to, to Zoom to Thailand. Kudos to, uh, to Austin Holloman and all the guys out there that are taking that first leap and trying to start something bigger than themselves. Catch you guys in the next video.